Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Farlands or Bust. Let us break our way out of the hidey hole. Look around for creepers. That is a cow over there. Close up the hidey hole, grab Wolfie, east, west, towards the cow, Wolfie, towards the cow. But yes, we are back. It is today is May 2nd. Uh, this video might be going up May 3rd because today we have another ultra hardcore going up and it seems It just seems like if I'm to upload any other video on the same day as an ultra hardcore series video uh, It often gets lost in the shuffle. So uh, this video might be coming up a day after I record it. So I'm sure the news will, will completely change by that time and it will be completely irrelevant um, But uh, but yeah we're here. Uh, we're still at the same amount for our Child's Play Charity Fundraiser, 23%. And once again, I appreciate the continued patience on the 20% milestone video. Uh, that's coming up. Coming up indeed. Um, I do have another milestone that we kind of just passed. The Farlands or Bust save file. Uh, you know, the world file for Minecraft here. Just past three gigabytes. Three gigabytes for this individual world of me just traveling in one direction. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm still looking at and reviewing my options for getting <clears throat> my throat cleared, first of all. Uh, and then second of all, for getting the, the new map up on the Far Lands of Bust website. Um, yeah, because I, I used Overviewer. Uh, a few of you suggested I should try mine mintographer mintographer or something like that which is something similar but it might it allows you to kind of customize a little bit better and since I'm using version 1.7.3 here to play in it it doesn't require any of the latest versions or anything that's compatible with the latest versions of minecraft uh, let's use a boat hold on let's get out on hockey stick island here and do this boop and boop and boop all right continuing thusly um so yeah we'll, we'll figure that out um i do have some good news i guess depending on how you're looking at it uh i was informed by spreadshirt that uh right now they have kind of a a mother's day promotion uh, I don't know if you'd get a Far Lands or Bust t-shirt for your mom or, or yourself, whatever. But uh, there's there's free shipping uh, from now through May 8th with code Mother's Day 12, all caps. Uh, and that's on orders of $30 or more uh, from the from North American stores. You know, so Spreadshirt, ah, Spreadshirt.com. Uh, and I, I specify North America because sometime soon, hopefully by the end of the week, I will be opening a European Spreadshirt shop uh, to hopefully save you guys across the pond uh, on some shipping. And uh, it, it uses, I guess, your, your default uh, currencies. So I'll let you know when that's up. Uh, at the Spreadshirt store now, there's a link that says Shop Europe, but that's that European store isn't activated yet so uh, I appreciate all the feedback I got from you guys when I started doing the t-shirts and a lot of you said hey you know shipping to Europe is like 15 bucks or something from the US store so uh, the Spreadshirt people contacted me said that they, they noticed the store was pretty successful getting a lot of traffic so I said that's great give me a European store <laughs> you will bow to my will uh, so so yeah looking forward to that but yeah if you, if you haven't and you've been waiting for something to, to get a Far Lands or Bust t-shirt you can get uh, free shipping standard shipping on uh, your your North American order uh, with that with that code indeed um, what else oh yes speaking of news that might change in the next 24 hours by the time I get this video up uh, the SpaceX launch, the NASA social event, uh, as you know, slated for May 7th launch right now. The tweet up would... Hello. You're perched precariously, aren't you there, Mr. Sheep? Um, the launch is slated for May 7th. The tweet up, or the social, whatever, is the 6th and 7th. Um, not so much anymore. There's been another slip in the schedule. Uh, they haven't confirmed anything, but I just got news and I just got an email from the NASA social people that uh, SpaceX has said that uh, it's definitely going to slip beyond May 7th. There's another opening for launch on May 10th, 
And then I believe after that, the next one is May 19th. So we're going to see what it comes down to. And the NASA social people are going to adjust the schedule for the NASA social accordingly. But we have no official word yet. Um, and that's fine. Like I said, all of my, all of my plans are flexible and refundable. Um, everything's okay. I know, I, you know, some people online and elsewhere have been giving, uh, you know, grief or flaming SpaceX and the whole commercial space flight industry for being so, you know, for slipping on, on the launch time and things like that. But, uh, you know, space shuttle launches and regular old NASA launches have had delays before. And, you know, this is a, I've said it before, even before I, I said I was going to do the NASA social thing, that uh, this is a very important and experimental, you know, launch. They want to make sure everything is correct, and you don't want to rush, no matter what, whether or not it's a manned space flight or anything. You don't want to rush things, you know. Uh, we've learned in the past that when we rush our launches, bad things happen. Uh, you know, whether or not you're talking about Challenger or other other such, you know, failures or, or things like that. So uh, we don't want to launch for the sake of launching. We want to launch to successfully complete the mission. So. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. The only problem I could foresee is if it gets pushed back into June, I'm going to be gone that first week of June for the Venus transit and, you know, just a normal uh, vacation, a, a long overdue vacation, I guess you could say. So uh, I'm still planning on going and adjusting the schedule. Uh, if I suppose if they do reschedule for May 10th, then the, the social thing will be the 9th and the 10th. If they go to 19th, it'll be the 18th and the 19th. So uh, we'll find out. Uh, it, it was actually a little bit of a relief because May 8th is actually a, a family birthday that uh, kind of was taking precedence. And uh, I would have been uh, even, you know, launching on May 7th, I would have been returning on May 8th, you know, cutting things kind of close and a lot of things going on at the same time. So... Um, buys me a little bit of time. Of course, that still could be a problem if the launch is May 10th, but uh, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll keep an eye on that, and I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know that much uh, other than that they said it's definitely not going to be happening the 7th, so we'll let you know what, what goes on. So uh, so yeah, that that's going on. And I actually got a question in the last video, or one of the previous videos, from Diamond Thief 258 He's a thief of diamonds! Um, Diamond Thief 258 asks, "What do you do at the NASA social thing?" Uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> In addition to, uh, well, previously they were known as NASA tweet ups, and uh, they first started for space shuttle launches, which I applied to all of them and didn't get into a single one. Uh, but there have been a whole bunch of NASA social slash NASA tweet ups. Uh, some of them were just one day events, like you go to Houston headquarters and get a tour and talk to. Uh, astronauts and you know see mission control at work and things like that um, the majority of the launch NASA tweet ups such as the space shuttle launches were uh, the the NASA Juno launch tweet up that I went to uh, they all tend to be two-day events where the first day you get to go to Kennedy Space Center you get behind the scenes access you get a little badge as if you're an employee and you go behind the gates uh, you know park in the shadow of the VAB and you're at the press site, they have tents set up, they have speakers, obviously, who are part of the mission, and engineers, uh, astronauts sometimes, they have special guests. Uh, during the Juno NASA tweet-up, we had Bill Nye, the science guy, speak with us. And we also had, uh, as kind of a surprise, the NASA administrator, uh, Charlie Bolden, actually came in. And it was kind of, uh, kind of funny, because I was kind of sitting off into the back, and... Uh, he walked in that side door to the tent there and like suddenly there's like a hand on my shoulder and he's like hey how's it going and it was Charlie Bolden and you know for those of you who don't know oh it's the administrator of NASA whoop de doo but he's actually an ex astronaut he's been on multiple space shuttle missions he was part of the mission that launched the Hubble Space Telescope so uh, that was kind of cool getting to meet him and shake his hand uh, he's very short he's very short as, as many I think he's a ex-marine pilot I think is what he was in, or maybe it's a Navy pilot or something like that, but most of those pilot astronaut guys are kind of short to fit in the cockpits of things, and alright, I'm probably going to have to make the elevated hidey hole over here. Uh, but yeah, you get a lot of talks, and then on that day you get a behind-the-scenes tour, so we got to go inside the VAB, we got to see Discovery, 
Uh, we got to see the launch pad up close of where Juno was going to launch, so I'm assuming... Uh, I know the format has kind of changed. Let me, let me go to sleep. As we are serenaded to sleep by the piano music of C418. Woof. No woof. Indeed! <laughs> And awakeness. Boop. How you doing? Boop. You not you're boop, boop, boop. you're not gonna sit in water, are you? Nope, no you're not. There we go. And feediness. Okay. Um so yeah, we got a tour. Uh, so I'm assuming it's gonna be similar being a two day event. Uh the Juno launch was hundred and fifty people. Uh, for this one, it's only 50 people. It seems like they're kind of scaling things back a little bit. Uh, so I'm not sure how specifically things are going to go, but I'm assuming it's going to be a similar thing. And then obviously the second day, uh, we had a few more speakers, but it's mainly revolved around watching the launch of the spacecraft. And then after the launch, you know, the thing's over and you, you can go, and go as, as you wish. Uh, so I'm personally looking forward to it. I think I might like the smaller group. I mean, it was a little bit intimidating for the Juno NASA tweet up, there's 150 people. It's kind of a big group, and uh, you tend to get a little bit lost. And uh, I suppose maybe with 50 people, it might be a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to get to know everybody who's part of the NASA tweet up, you know. Uh, so, so that might be something cool to look forward to. You know, me and my <laughs> my aversion to large groups. So, yeah, that's what you do at a NASA tweet up, and they're still doing them. So, if you want to keep an eye, you should follow either NASA on Facebook or on Twitter, it's NASA Social is their account. Uh, and then there's a website, nasa.gov slash social, and that's the, the page. I think we found another dungeon. Where is this guy? Get over here, Wolfie. Hey, sit, sit on the ice and sit. All right, where is this? That's got to be a spawner. Woof, yeah, I agree, Wolfie. I agree! I just don't want this sand to collapse around me. Oh, like this! G -g -g. Hmm. Oh, it might just be a cave. Alright, I'm about to give up on this if I don't find it in the next 10 seconds. Oh! I don't know. Upon further inspection, I don't know if it's a spawner. I'm not hearing enough zombies. It might just be a, a cavern that, you know, three zombies are in. Screw you guys! Screw you guys! Have some water. Or not. Uh, but yeah, let's grab Wolfie and continue on. No time to waste. There are far lands to have gotten to. Uh, but yeah, I think I answered the question about what a NASA social is. And you can go to that website, nasa.gov slash social, and that's where they announce any upcoming socials, and you could sign up for them. Uh, obviously, if you're going to sign up for them, you're, you're required to travel there, so they don't cover your travel expenses or anything. But, uh, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, indeed. Uh, where am I at? Do, 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 looking at my notes, looking at my notes. Not very professional. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I do want to thank everybody for at least mostly positive thoughts on my last extended episode where I was talking about YouTube success. Uh, it kind of, after I watched that a second time, it kind of turned into uh, more about what not to do uh, to piss me off <laughs> as like a YouTuber versus tips for YouTube success, but uh, I think I got my message across there. And, uh, and yeah, and I don't, I didn't, uh, and I know I was kind of worried about acting or sounding like a jerk or anything, and I don't want to discourage anybody, certainly, if, ooh, from, from trying their own, you know, putting up their own YouTube Let's Play series. Uh, I mean, after all, I started my series after being inspired by, you know, other Let's Players, and, and I was a fan Wolfie, 
Oh, there he is. Uh, I was a fan of other, you know, Let's Play series and, and YouTube channels and things, and uh, that's what got me excited about doing it. It's just, uh, you know, it's... If you're looking for success, it's not an, not an easy thing. I mean, look at Good. He has almost a thousand videos. He's coming up on a thousand videos. I don't know how that guy does it. Uh, I try to keep consistent with my video uploads. Uh, this last week has been difficult because I've been planning multiple trips and birthdays and things like that, but, uh, uh, you know, he's up on old, like four or five videos a day of different games. I don't know what he does. He must, like, on the weekend, when his, like, he, he has time, he just, like, sits down and records for hours and hours and hours and then just has that footage to release throughout the week. Uh, I don't know, I, I found that hard to do. <laughs> I get kind of tired, and, and you can kind of notice that in the Ultra Hardcore series, because uh, we record those nights at a time, so... Uh, you can tell when there's a certain a certain recording session because by the end of you know a few episodes in, I start to get tired and quiet, and then you can tell when a new recording session starts because I'm like, oh hey, chipper and, and ready to go and go and get them, you know. So uh, that might be something I have to work on my my commentary endurance, perhaps you can call it. Whoa, um, there's a big snow biome, and I can't get out. Let's head back down into the valley. Um, so yeah, and that's and and even about like the times where I where I'll recommend you guys to other channels and things like that. I know uh, I heard back from uh, both of those people who I recommended in that last episode, and they're pretty excited. And that's it. Um, I don't know how to word. It, it sounds kind of chauvinistic of me to say, "Oh, I've I improved those people's days by referring them," but it's kind of you know I certainly enjoy hearing from people who I'm a big fan of. You know, regardless of how many followers they have or anything like that, you know, it was really cool to hear back from Good and have him invite me to be the Minecraft server, so I guess that's a similar feeling. Uh, and even recently, actually yesterday, I heard, I just got a message from one of my favorite YouTubers, and that was like, ah, you know, one of those moments. So uh, uh, it's certainly uh, it's certainly a feeling that I don't, I don't uh, hesitate to pass around if I have a chance to do that, so... Uh, uh, so yeah, it's it's a cool community. I've certainly I've met more awesome people doing this YouTube thing than I have, you know, throughout any other situation in my life, whether it be work or school or anything like that. So are those those pigs were all dry? These pigs are all dry. There's something in the water. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's that goes. Oh, just got a bunch of lag, and I just saw my audio recording kind of stop. That ain't good. Um, but that was a good thing about... Actually, I mentioned this. Fraps is starting to record, or you have the option to record in one single... Ooh. Easy. In one single video file. And that helps me because then, if something like that does happen, where my audio recording balls is up, uh, the audio, instead of being split across six different videos, like it was in the older version of Fraps, is, is now all encapsulated in one video. So I can just rip that and then edit that and use that as my, my master... My, my audio master, so that, that's helpful. Scatterbrain. Uh, but yeah, that uh, I think wraps up what I was talking about that. And that's one of those those topics I have every once in a while in Far Lands or Bust that takes me a whole episode to talk about, and I'm really, really got a lot to talk about and passionate about it. Um, there's another one on the horizon. I'm not sure when I'm going to talk about it, but I get a lot of questions. Uh, I know a lot of you are of high school or, you know, grade school. Not grade school, but, you know, school age, you know, teenagers and things like that. So I get a lot of questions about what my experience in high school was like um, and any tips on getting through it or things like that. Uh, that's going to be a dedicated video and that I'm going to have to be in a particular mood to talk about. Uh, I know I've mentioned it here and there that it wasn't wasn't particularly the best time, but, uh, and I know, you know, I'm not going to be shedding any miraculous lights or being an inspirational voice for all of you or anything like that. I'm not planning on that, but that's uh, uh, in addition to talking about you know the YouTubes. Uh, that's another one of those topics that uh, I'll, I'll be taking a whole episode. It might have to be a multi-day episode like the last one. So ah, look forward to that. <laughs> Just thinking about it, I'm not looking forward to it. Indeed. Ah, ah, ah sun's kind of setting. What else can I talk about? Woof! Yeah, I know Wolfie. Woof. Boop, 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 boop. 
Um, I can answer kind of a weird question that somebody asked really quickly. Hey, get out of my way, tree. Uh, Terra Hex one asked, do I go to Subway often? If you go at all, what is your favorite sandwich? I used to like Subway a lot, but I haven't done any fast food of that description anytime in recent history. Subway just started to get to me. It just, ugh. you know, even though, oh, they're healthy and fresh or whatever their marketing scheme is, it's, uh, I don't know. I just get the willies every time I go into a Subway. Uh, we had a Subway in our college dorm, like in the actual dorm. And whenever they were baking the bread, the entire dorm and your room and everything would smell like the Subway bread. So I got pretty, I got pretty sick of it pretty quickly in college. Uh, but yeah, I'd usually get, you know, the normal stuff. I never went crazy. Uh, and I usually, instead of getting like a plain old bread, I got one of the breads with like cheese and other crap on it. But, uh, but yeah, it's been, I don't know about a year, but almost a year since I've been to a Subway. The sun is setting. Must get to kind of a little hill here that I can make a hidey hole on. Oh, well, I got snowballs for some reason. Fetch! <laughs> um, oh, my shovel's about to break, too. Woof! Yeah, I know. Get, he's telling me to get in the hidey hole. Quick, it's getting dark. Ah. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, here we go. And... Dirt. Woof. Indeed. So here we are in the hidey hole. But yeah, I, thank you for that question, Terra Hex. It was one of those random ones, but uh, not not a fan of the subway anymore so much. Not a fan of the subway. There goes my shovel. I don't have another one. Oh, I only have 11 arrows left. Not that I use them a lot, but ooh. Uh, so yeah, here is the end of this episode of Far Lands or Bust. Let me make a couple beds here. Boop, 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 boop. Woof, 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 woof. Just communicating to Wolfie. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I got these spare sticks. I can create an iron shovel. Getting fancy here. Plonk down the bed. I already have a boat, so let's break this thing. And I guess I can remind you guys to keep going to farlandsorbust.com if you'd like to contribute to the Child's Play Charity Fundraiser there. I really appreciate all the contributions thus far, and uh, for those of you who keep asking, I know there's a lot of new subscribers, you, you want me to press F3 to see how far I'm at, I don't do that until we reach 100% of our Child's Play Charity Fundraiser, just like I did last season. Uh, so right now we're going for $29,220, so keep donating to Child's Play Charity if, you, if you're looking forward to me pressing F3. Of course, the longer it goes, the further I'll get, but uh, I'm going to keep doing this every every season, I guess you could say. So, indeed, whatnot, and etc. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, ask me your questions, and subscribe if you're not already. My name is Kurt. I will see you... Woof! next time.